It's about 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursday, no, Friday, November 24th, 2017. I'm at the entrance to a cave. It says 93, 93. I have no idea what the real name is. Never seen this cave on a map. But yeah, should be interesting. I have no idea how long it is, where it goes. But I don't see any signs that it's closed. So by the process of elimination, must be open. Huh. Boy, it's a nice warm cave. Maybe it just seems that way because it's like 35 degrees outside. But anyway, holy cow. Look in between here. It's like 10 feet down there. Remind me to go a long way. Nice and flat up there. I'm not going to bother to crawl back there. So let me grab my backpack. Whoops. Let's see if I can put my other glove on. Whoops. Okay. Oops. Hang on. There we go. This time of year, I would expect to see bats. Except this is a warm cave. I don't think bats like to hibernate in warm caves. So hopefully this is a humongous cave and no bats in it, but we'll see. Looks like I could go over there too. On the way back, I'll check it out. I wanna check out the easy part first. Be lazy. Wow, I'm standing up. Excuse me. Excuse me. I just had breakfast. All right, then. Well, there's the entrance. That dark rock is moist. The rest are dry. It's a very dry cave. Yeah, that's too small to go back there. That I'll take a peek at the way back, maybe, if I'm feeling brave. Now I'm going to head down the slope. It's obviously a busy cave. The locals must know about it, but I don't live around here, so they don't really share any information with me. Most people, you ask them where the caves are, and they won't really know anything. Holy cow, I think this is a dead end. I think all that worked for nothing. We'll see, keep on going down. I think I'm gonna go over here to the right side. Make sure it doesn't branch or curve. Uh, well, still no sign of bats. I guess I'm, that would explain why the cave's not closed. There's nothing here to close. Anyway, wow. So I came down, this cave isn't too steep. I mean, it's just a breakdown rock. Who knows about the actual cave floor? <laughs> These worn out rocks can be slippery. So gotta be kind of careful about where I put my feet. Little bit of formations here. Uh, what's it called? Mineral deposits. Cave popcorn. These caves are really old. I think they're like tens of thousands of years old. So they've had time to do stuff. Like grow small formations. Even though they're not solution caves. Holy cow. The main floor looks like it's at least 10 more feet down. I think I'm going to go around. Make sure I don't fall down there. That might hurt. Ugh. Okay, whoops. The important thing about caving, don't go too fast. You don't want to develop any momentum that you can't stop. 
Put simply, you want to always try to be at or near a stop for safety reasons. All right. Yep, yeah, doesn't look like it goes down there anywhere. Oops, I gotta be careful of the ceiling here. Yep, looks like it's a dead end. But the ironic part, remember, you know, it's just blocked by all these rocks that have fallen down. If there was a way to remove all these rocks, the cave could go really far. Who knows? But zero trace means don't try to do anything like that. Notice from here, you can actually see the natural light at the entrance. So technically, you could even argue this isn't a real cave. Not even sure what you'd call it, but anywhere that doesn't have... It's got natural light everywhere, you know. It's not really, uh, what's it called? Whoops. Huh, trying to make sure I have plenty to grab onto so I don't risk dropping my kill pro. Obviously I wouldn't wanna drop my GoPro down in there between the rocks. That would kinda suck. Although, archaeologists, 100 years would probably find it, think it was a sacrifice or something. Whoops, standing on a loose rock. It's possible this asteroid is not entirely stable. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to try to climb up there. Yeah, no bats though. So at least I can use my regular voice. Don't have to try to whisper or anything. A lot of the caves around here are closed to protect the bats. I'd be kind of curious if they really do have any bats or not. It would be cool if I could set up some, you know, microphones by the entrances listen to them flying in and out so they do that in some case count the bats going in and out all right well now just like any cave the hard part is the entrance gotta squeeze back oops darn it i accidentally touched the ceiling up and out the way i came Okay, well, uh, here I am at the entrance. Uh, to Cave 93.